This Los Angeles Rams preview edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet $100 at WinBet and get a $100 free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T to claim your free bet today. Hey, this is John Sally, and you listen to SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Oh, we made it. Yes, we did it. We 32. survived training camp two a days. I feel invigorated. Uh, this is really. I mean, when the NFL season comes and we're doing just one podcast a day, it's almost gonna feel like a letdown. I mean, we're th- again. This is another one where we're on our third episode of the day. If you want the live episodes as soon as they're up, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Shout out to the YouTube crew. We're putting oh, yeah. together a nice squad here, right? The people who turn on their notifications, they see the red alert. They gotta hop in the chat. We got easy in here yet? Easy, I, I would imagine, is on his way. Research oh. Flat Earth is in here. Any chance easy is Trevor John. LFG. Could John be easy? <laughs> Has he duplicated? Joel himself? Garza, what's up, boys? Yeah, just uh, gonna be breaking down the Los Angeles Rams, the last of our 32 NFL team previews. And make sure you go back because uh, these were a lot of fun. It really, really set ourselves up. And then we're gonna, if you missed some of the team previews, don't worry, we will still do the division previews. We'll announce which one of those win totals are our favorites. Um, talk even more futures. Oh I think there's going to be more bets. Well, there, there's some player props that are out now, but I think by the time we do the <laughs> division previews, there'll be a little, a little more. Uh, John T saying another undercoming. Up, oh. under King himself, Ryan Kramer's just. He hasn't met a win total. He hasn't hated uh, so far. This are we sure I'm going NFL. under? Oh wow, he is. Ryan is uh, rocking his Dodger blue, supporting the local team. Oh, I'm a Dodger fan. <laughs> I'm not a Rams fan. Just ram it, baby. Just ram it. All what, right. What was that? Hey, 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 The Jerry curl in the song. It's just like just that 70s, 80s smooth vibe. And you can tell the times were different because everyone has a verse. Everyone, it's five minutes long, five yeah. and a half minutes long. People's attention span were very differently. I mean, the choreographed dancing. This big, I mean. It's like this is like a full on rookie hazing, but it's the whole team. It's well, amazing. also I, it started with the Super Bowl shuffle, and then <laughs> the Eagles even had yeah. one where it was like buddies watching you. They all have like these similar, just like da 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 da. da. Oh, it's like imagine if IG. Hey, live. I'm Sean G, <laughs> and I'm from Bethlehem. Watch out! I got rid of six oh seven. Like they all have that kind of like kind of easy to you know drop a cadence in, teach a guy maybe who doesn't know how to rap how to <laughs> how to sling a couple words uh, in rhythm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams. Still don't know where that parade took place, Sean. No, unclear. Uh, and, uh, and Matt Stafford's still uh, looking for that woman that he didn't help at all. Oh man, that was the favorite part of the parade where he, she just falls off the thing. This poor lady, and he looks and he's just like, ah, well, yeah. and, all right. So I I thought about this because on one hand he apologized. He looks like a he huge looked, dickhead. He looked pretty hammered. On the other hand, when you're at a party and you're wasted and someone go like someone's going down, is your instinct to grab them <laughs> and go down with them? 
Probably not. I feel like I've probably. I mean, Bra- look. Do you remember Brady the other year? I, I mean, I feel like Brady. Oh, Brady was a, like throwing the uh, he trophy let, around. But he would have let a girl drop if the situation presented itself. Got to ask why there were cameras around Matt Stafford. That's the difference. Brady mm-hmm. would have had that footage scrubbed. Oh yeah. Someone Bra- would have been uh, floating at the bottom <laughs> of those duck those duck rivers or wherever they float down. All right, Matt Stafford. Matty Stafford. LA Rams. And Our guy Sean uh, McVay. Angeles Ram. Let's go. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. So they know we sent you. Bet big, win even bigger with win bet. So many states. I mean, if you're if you're thinking to yourself, am I in a win bet state? Or maybe you're visiting a win bet state. A lot of great vacations you can plan to Colorado. New Jersey, New York City, Tennessee, Virginia, Michigan, Louisiana, Indiana. You just do a uh, you know, just do a win bet tour, Brian. Highly, highly uh, recommend getting down over on Win Bet. Bet big, win even bigger. SportsGamblingPodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. Bet, uh, get the hundred dollar bet. All you need to do, bet a hundred dollars, get a hundred dollar risk free bet. Terms and conditions apply at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where play through winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Kramer, let's do it. All right. Well, it's uh, it's a classic case. We do know the water in LA cures hangovers <laughs> uh, from other walks of life. I, I, look, I, I think you know instinctually, I'm always going to sit here and try to find a way to fade a team that just won the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and they're they're making it easy, right? Like Von Miller was still important. Uh, their super team. So like every year, they get deeper into their like cap pay it, you know, pay deal with it later situation. They get closer to like not having the depth to be able to deal with that one injury. You know, that you, you saw some dudes like straight up Whitward, right? Like they, he won it. He's like, I'm that's it. Career's over. <laughs> you, you it, can't it does help feel like this feel that there was a little bit of a sense of accomplishment McVay. I mean, how long has he been chasing this dragon? I, it, it, there, there are a <laughs> lot of dudes who almost certainly Chasing are not the drag. not working. I mean, that's his dragon because that fucking that nerd's never chased any other type of dragon. Uh, <laughs> and again, if you want to just the fact that he hyped up not treating teaching his dog a, a, a cool <laughs> trick on hard knocks, it, I still Ryan, I still Ryan want is nothing. Still really uh, the whole episode they're talking <laughs> about this fucking trick. I'm looking at him with a shirt off. I'm like, all right, there's gonna be a payoff. It, it's not a tr- any dog could do that trick. Literally, <laughs> Ben Scourneck of dogs could do oh, that. Oh wow, Ryan Is Ben Scourneck was- <laughs> catching strays here. No uh, need. And, and by the way, listed as a starting wide receiver right now. So don't look now. We're gonna get one of these Ben Scourneck <laughs> first touchdowns. God help us. Is it R- Randall Cobb or Ben Scourneck that's gonna win us a million week one? Uh, I, I mean, we can look back. I guess first, we were pretty good picking this team against the spread nine and eight for you. I was a crit. This was one of the best teams I was picked. I picked all year, eleven and six ATS, and I think most of that damage was maybe going the other way. Uh, we both predicted a nine and eight season last year, Sean. We both were on the under. Little shade was going. I I, I don't know why too, because I feel like I was early adopter of the Rams. I just yeah, cla- you got you classic, got cold feet, Ryan. You were, you were really all in <laughs> uh, on the Rams, and then when it came time to actually I, pull I know, the trigger, I, I learned from that. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, I think this was the. You know, macro, macro take. The Rams were really fucking good when they needed to be, but when you look at their actual schedule, so fun fact because th- this is something I you just going through the last year's schedule. They uh, Matt Stafford. Not only did they have a three game losing streak, which is I would say rare for an elite team. Matt Stafford threw a pick six in all three of those games. Yeah, and, and that's kind of why I was out on the hmm. the Rams, especially as of late, because. He kind of hit that wall where the back was bothering him. What was it? That Ravens game where he basically gave them the game. He ended up tied for the league league in interceptions. How many times 
has it, it, and a, and someone in advanced stats or, or one of the YouTube people. If you can, if you can, <laughs> or one of the YouTube people. If you can figure uh, this out, if you can solve this riddle, uh, tw- thirty dollar SGPN what? gift card. If you can find me someone <laughs> who won the Super Bowl, okay, that quarterback who also led the league in interceptions. Whew. Maybe like Elway, one of those years. I'm trying to think, who would that? Who Any else? chance Eli did in 2007? <laughs> Heads up. All right, that could be a good place to start. But again, that feels like that Trent feels like Dilfer. a real outlier, right? I, I certainly think. I mean, it was a style of play. I think you, you know, I think you probably want to be aggressive. And at the end of the day, it, it's probably you'd probably want to more look at what you know what what were the points lost. If you look at turnover EPA, for example, um, towards the bottom. So you know, perhaps the, the some of the picks were not as important. <laughs> maybe not didn't lead to anything for me. This is more of just, you know, we kind of got into it with the Bengals. Hey, there's, there's maybe cause for regression, but you, you look around and it's like, well, they consciously improve their weaknesses and, and their quarterback is someone that I can actually buy into. It seems like there's real leadership there. Not to say there isn't with Stafford, but the Rams and the Bengals are kind of a similar team. They obviously played in the super bowl. The difference is the Bengals aren't over leveraged and, and, uh, you know, near the cliff, whereas the Rams are. And yet I feel like the Bengals are the team that's being treated like they're way closer to the cliff by the, by the nature of how their odds are being laid out. Yeah. Whereas the Rams, it's like, Hey, there's no one else in the conference. So don't worry about all these. Don't worry about the fact that we're very thin and yeah, Bobby Wagner's here and that's fucking awesome. And we have dream team assemble assemble. And yeah, we have the best cornerback in the league and we have the best defensive tackle maybe ever. But it's very Jalen Ramsey too. Well, he was the best cornerback. That okay, was, yeah. that was a shout out to. I think to him. quarterback. Oh no, no, definitely not the best quarterback. <laughs> uh, they brought in Allen Robinson, who, on one hand, amazing quarterback or amazing wide receiver with bad quarterbacks, but also a dude who quit on his team last year. Yeah. So <clears throat> look, I, 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 I this, Super Bowl hangovers are real, this and, team, and I think there's reason to regress here. And, and Cooper Cup, like I, I'm oh, not taking wow. anything away. Here we from go. Cooper Cup, fellow deadhead. I like Cooper oh, Cup. Yeah. Cong- I mean, getting the uh, NFL MVP as a receiver is quite the accomplishment. But is he really going to have that same year again? Like, I, I, I just see this guy from Eastern Washington. I get it. They put together a perfect season. He deserves to, um, you know, to to all the credit he got, the Super Bowl ring, the MVP. But yep. isn't it going to be really hard to match that production? I mean, even in the fantasy world, people are looking at Cooper Cup and go, "Oh yeah, he's he's gonna do what he did there." It's like, wait, no one's gonna talk about how both him and his quarterback had historically yeah. outlier seasons. Well, <clears throat> I don't think Stafford had an outlier season. Oh yeah, he did. In what sense? His numbers. Well, he went to a much better situation. Okay. I mean, you you. You have to include like the fact that he was in one spot his entire career and it went to a, di- but I, I, but you know, not, no, I'm just saying like he had 41 touchdowns Okay. previous years, 26, 19, 20, what about 29. yardage? Uh, uh, like yardage 4,800. I mean, previous years, 4,000, 2,400, 37, 44, 43, 42. He had some early years where he went off. No, uh, like yeah, all the way back in 2011. I, and he's also getting older. I'm just saying, for a guy to have his career year at 13, in on his the best 13th, team he ever played on, in, in his 13th year career, how how sustainable is that? To me, both him and Cooper Cup having these career years, and you could say the same thing for Cooper Cup. Oh, he had uh, he had Jared Goff. Now he has Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford's good for fantasy production. Whatever. To me, it's just. If you have your career year in year thirteen to run it back again, I think is a lot to ask for a guy, especially who has had injury issues. And he also set a career high in interceptions, with the exception of his rookie year or yeah. twenty thirteen. He had nineteen, I guess. I mean, I think I, I certainly think this was very clearly the best team he's ever played for. So, and and the best collection of receivers, arguably, with the exception of maybe Calvin Johnson. Uh, look, I, I I think and Sean McVay makes you it said easy. maybe Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson, come on, Calvin Johnson, much better than Cooper Cup. Uh, uh, as a talent, obviously, yeah. But Cooper Cup had a hell of a year. No, I know, um, and that's why I don't think he can do it again. I mean, I mean, you, he had his best years with Calvin Johnson and Cooper Cup. So yeah, I mean, look, I I think 
I think that Sean McVay is also like a very pot plus EV coat. We're seeing like the difference between Sean McVay, like dragging Jared Goff up to decent and Matt Stafford being like, cool, the system makes sense. And I'm going to be able to go off now. Do I, would I bet on <clears throat> him to have another season like this? Uh, you know, touchdown regression, I think will come. Uh, would I bet the over on his yardage? No, because he's having elbow issues in camp. But could I see him having another year like this because the offense is tailor made for them to just have a lot of easy yardage? Yeah, I think so. Now the concern is there's question about who's going to be running the rock. There's questions about the offensive line. They were a team that you circled as a regression candidate just from an injury and close game standpoint. And again, I think it, big, big, big fucking red flag to be a team. Like again, you'd probably say the same thing about my Giants back in the day, but you can't lose like losing three games in a row is a strange anomaly to a team that went on and won, won the super bowl. And you know, again, you could make the case that this was a late run, got hot. Everything went right. Yeah. I and know. then Aaron Donald got paid. Matt Stafford got paid. Like you're back to like not off field reasons why Matt, you think Sean McVay was celebrating that first. Mm, he'd been chasing it so hard. So you saw the way he looked there after were, he lost were, to Belichick. There were, I mean, I just don't know if this, and and you know, we, uh, I certainly missed it coming into the preseason that this Rams team put together, you know, Donald Stafford and Sean McVay, who kind yeah. of oddly is a veteran, even though he's super young and, and has hair gel. Yeah. This was all there, like, hey, you know, in the almost in like an action movie where they're like, all right, one more job, one more yeah. year, we're coming back. The Expendables. Yeah. <laughs> probably similar <laughs> level of they probably go to the same HGH guy. Um, I, I just think, I mean, there were, there were there, Ryan. Remember early in the process, yeah. there were talks about Sean McVay yeah. stepping away. Does that sound like a guy who's hungry, who has a chip on his shoulder to repeat the guys already looking to get to TV. I, his I, BFF I just, Peter, uh, Peter Schrager over yeah. uh, NFL network was essentially defending him and his urge to want to play football saying he's not, he's not working at a TV job. <laughs> okay. Well, he's, <clears throat> he's 36 and he just won the super bowl and he's got a great team. He was talking uh, about, I mean, imagine <laughs> if bill Belichick, wa- and I don't know how old he was off the top of my head, but after that first super bowl, was there ever thought of him like stepping away? Bill Belichick's going to have to be asked to leave. Yes. I mean, it might in first step might be, Hey, he's going to roll out Patricia and Joe judge as a start as, as his play caller. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, back, back to the Rams that uh, flat earth said it right. We kind of alluded to this multiple times. The, the Rams are a sneaky case of a team that, that got hot. And I, I think at the end of the day, their, their numbers were really good and they have some very elite players, which makes it easier to understand or at least believe the story. But you know, they, they, I, Re- I, I don't, yeah, I don't buy the, I don't buy the narrative that they're very clearly going to just have this path into the playoffs and no one's going to resist them at all. Because again, easy schedule last year, hard schedule this year. Outperform their Pythag by 1.8 oh, wins, right? No, that's, um, in, it, that's a big time regression in, indicator. Right research uh, Flat Earth says it, and he keeps making great points. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hate that narrative that the Bengals lucked their way into the Super Bowl. In oh, reality, yeah. the Rams were just as lucky to get there and yeah. win it. I think there's something kind of to that. What I was this, this to, Rams, yes. yeah, and you were you were kind of getting there as well. It's not like this Rams team was a juggernaut. They were a twelve and five team. To your point, with a three, um, a three win loss streak in there. I mean, they were eight and nine against the spread. Like they were a good regular season team, but they weren't historically dominant. They almost blew that Tampa Bay game. I mean, if uh, Jaquiski Tart catches that interception, what a name! <laughs> I know. Uh, if Jaquiski Tart catches that interception for Matt Stafford, what's the narrative now? You know what I mean? Like they were really close I mean, to not getting there and not winning it. And they were, they were behind in the super bowl for a decent portion. Like listen to their schedule. kudos to them. They, just they, just they earned it. I'm just saying it wasn't like they were a clear cut dominant. They didn't listen watching that super bowl win. It didn't feel like I was watching the beginning of a dynasty. I never got that sense. No, I mean, Aaron Donald's really fucking good, That, but the, but other than that last year, so bears, they beat at Colts, Carson Wentz. 
Then they beat the Bucks. Tom Brady, great. They lost to the Cardinals. And it was Seahawks, Giants, Detroit, Texans, all wins. They lose to Tennessee, San Francisco, and the Packers. They beat Jacksonville, Arizona, Seattle, Minnesota, and Baltimore barely. Bad Baltimore. So I, you know, again, you look at this team, and yes, they went on a playoff run, but they didn't beat a ton of great teams through along the way. They lost both games to San Francisco in the regular season. I, I know they got revenge before people come at me. Oh, there's no real Rams fan, so I'm not really worried about <laughs> someone coming at me. Uh, I just it's very easy to look at their schedule this year and be like, all right, interesting. Now I know we're lower on San Francisco than the most of the market. And I know maybe I'm, I'm a little higher on Arizona, but I, I think you look outside the division and it's like, well, damn, these West teams caught the West out, out in the AFC. And that really makes it difficult. Especially when I, I had every single AFC West team going double digit wins, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, obviously they got to get them somewhere, and it could be they're 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 plucking them off the uh, the the NFC foes. So I, I think just well strength the schedule yeah. as you would imagine pretty hard. Yeah, uh, se- third thirty first easiest according to uh, the latest win totals. <laughs> Essentially the second hardest yeah. one right it's there almost, with the Chiefs. Almost nine, yeah, almost an average of nine, which is insane. PFF uh, offensive line ranked eleventh. Um, you know, uh, obviously Whitworth retiring is big. Note Boom, who's uh, filling in for him, supposedly pretty good, and, and he's looked good in, you know, in filling in for him. But again, that when you have an anchor like Whitworth, I, I think, um, I just think that's going to be tough. Like Whitworth had 235 NFL starts, four Pro Bowl honors, three All Pro selections. That's really, yeah. If you get like three plus All Pro selections, two Super Bowl appearances, one. Super Bowl win. I I think he's. I mean, he's got Hall of Fame written all over him. Uh, so I think that's certainly going to be a big loss. And you know, a, a big part of that run they had was Odell Beckham. Uh, towards the uh, you know, I've I've given Odell Beckham a ton of shit, and maybe Odell Beckham ends up coming back. But right now, he's not on the team. I know they brought in Allen Robinson, but I, I don't know. Odell gave them. I I think he spread the field out pretty nicely for them, and filled in for that Robert Woods role that that seemingly is what they needed. And going back to like uh, their their run game, Cam Akers, uh he's hurt again, coming mark. back that Achilles. Like Cam Akers may just not have anything left in the tank and Daryl Henderson. It certainly seems like they shouldn't have brought him back last year. Yeah, they rushed him that, back that and that seems unnecessary and, uh, in hindsight. Also, Johnny Hecker. The, I mean, sounds crazy, but they were fourth in uh special Punk teams God. DVOA. It, it, and you know when you're winning close games, you know uh, five yards of field position here or there adds up. So I think losing Johnny Hecker, no one's talking about it, but I think that actually could impact this Rams team. And then you look at like Von Miller, uh, who you know added a nice little spark there on the defensive side. Sony Michelle, I guess he didn't really do much. Um, I'd say you lost a lot of lead, like Robert Woods was a locker room yeah. guy. Uh, Whitworth, we already discussed that. You, you've you, you've lost some vets who almost I mean, Beckham, Von Miller, who almost certainly had well, and then a Beckham too. Effect. Like they like, they there was just a super team of people of guys who really wanted it for that one season. They got it, yeah. and now it's like I don't know. I just don't see the motivation being there for this team. Well, I mean, we'll see. I think we'll see week one, right? We'll we'll see immediately because you know shit gets real for them pretty quick. I will say they do start with a fairly easy schedule, so all right. I, I do wonder if the Rams are one of these teams that we could see create value for other teams in the division to maybe come roaring back. But yeah, I mean, I think to me again, you, you're not supposed to project injury, but there are so many areas on this team where. You know, you got to ask yourself, like whether it's guys getting paid, whether it's guys achieving their goal, or whether it's just l- little bits of leadership leaving the locker room. I mean, I, I think you know you got to see it from your head coach. The, the head, like, what would you say about the head coach? Maybe leave. There were there was talks, which means people, again, it's it's that whole like everyone's focused on getting theirs after a championship, right? Yeah. And so whether it's the coach, whether it's the players writing their books. Players getting paid. We're in fucking Los Angeles, Sean. A lot of distractions. And almost certainly, this team will will just take an implied step back. And, and when the when the big dog you bring in just quit on a team, dog. Don't undersell the fact that Allen Robinson quit on a team. Yeah, that could come up, right? 
It could come. It certainly could come up. I, I just think Ben the, Scour next never quit on a team. <laughs> I just think the the mojo, the everyone's hungry to get this first, you know, this this first taste of glory. There well, were a lot of guys in there who never won a championship, and but Bob, Bobby Wagner. But also like they the, they just new. came in for that year. Like this was like a mercenary operation. That's why I keep coming back to the. Um, what about Bobby Wagner this year? He's the new mercenary, right? And then Allen Robinson, but are those guys enough to uplift the team? And maybe they are. I, I just, to me, it feels like this is a big letdown spot for them in this season. I can get behind that. I can get behind the idea that Bobby Wagner is a, a good player. I, yeah, I don't know. Feels a lot like I'm dragging my way through a way to, to to find a way to hate them, but I do think just purely off of, you know, they were they were a, a, for being a slightly older team. They were very healthy last year, and they overperformed what they were supposed to be. So from that perspective, Dryden, it's easy. Dryden saying Bobby Wagner better than Von Miller. That, I mean, you can make that case in his prime, but I don't know. Von Miller on that defensive I mean, line. I, I with guess I Aaron disagree. Donald. Von Miller was getting home, and so I guess if Bobby Wagner can add add that kind of impact to the defense, which which it would be hard to do, uh, he's also an aging linebacker who has he's been an all world linebacker, and maybe we're just seeing a guy who's going to be extra motivated because he he he's again left a losing situation into a winning situation. Well, but, and, and and Dryden's pointing out Bobby Wagner's tackles last year. Again, I think he's he, he's certainly a, a great player and had a great career. But I think also there's a reason Seattle let him go. I don't know. Well, they're just and, and he was getting a lot of tackles. But I think part of that was because the Seattle defense wasn't that good. Um, I, I don't know. I I think to Dryden's point, they kept Jamal Adams. I think he has. I think well, I think they had to keep <laughs> no, Jamal I'm Adams. I I think he, I think I think Bobby Wagner has something left in the tank. Uh, we'll see how much, and we'll see if he fits in the scheme as well. Because I think Pete Carroll's scheme is very specific. Right now, it's very shitty. Thanks, Pete Carroll, for not mm. covering that uh, first preseason game, looking like complete trash. But yeah, all right. Stars uh, and scrubs, Sean. Stars and scrubs. It worked last year because they stayed healthy. Like that. That's what happens. You stay healthy. It, it works when you just have no depth. And Bobby Wagner, like the advanced metrics, he had 21 defeats last season. A total wow. total no Rams linebackers match since Corey Littleton in 2018. So he's certainly an upgrade at linebacker from what they had. I, I just don't know. We'll see if he ends up, you know, pass rush and having the impact. No, he won't have that. That Von Miller had. But I mean, I guess and that's I think the point. and I think he made. Not that Aaron Donald needs help, but I think having Von Miller on that defensive line made Aaron Donald's job a little easier. It it just had to have. Yeah. You ready to talk to schedule, Ryan? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Before we do that, <sighs> tricked. Me. Do we talk about uh run your pool yet? Mm, I think so. Maybe not. Yeah, people in the chat. Did we talk about <laughs> run your pool? Yes, I think we did. I think we might have. All these episodes are running together. I'm gonna talk about <laughs> odds trader. <laughs> Odds Trader is your one stop shop when it comes to uh, getting the best deals, best sign up codes from all the major sports books. They also hit you up with uh, player stats, key game stats, injury reports, and projected game day weather for betters to make the most informed bets possible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at everything they have. What more do you need? Player stats, live scores, bet tracking, again, the weather, injuries, whatever you need. Odds Trader has you covered. All you have to do is go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. Odds Trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. And we're also brought to you by Sleeper. Sleeper is, of course, the uh, fastest growing fantasy platform with millions of players. Uh, they just hit over 4 million users. That's insane. Uh, you can play their new over under game. Essentially, it's parlay and player props. You can win 2x all the way up to 20x. NFL season right around the corner. Sleeper is the first. Uh, sports contest game built into the fantasy experience. That's right. You can play over under uh, just click of a button from that fantasy window. It's going to be so much fun. I, I cannot wait. And when you use our uh, promo code or link, you get a hundred percent deposit match up to $100. Open up that mobile phone and just go to sleeper.com slash SGP. Sleeper will automatically match your first deposit up to $100 sleeper.com slash SGP or promo code S. GP terms and conditions apply. See sleepers terms of use for details. 
Still waiting for the chat to tell me whether or not I did the run your pool read right. They're they're not listening to you. Come on, help me out here. You ready? Yes. Let's go. All right. For a last time, we're doing this. Almost feel sad. All right, we're gonna start off on Thursday night, first game of the season. Sean, we will be somewhere in Las Vegas, enjoying a cocktail. Brian, watching some first touchdown action. Before we get to that, I'd mean? like to talk about Run Your Pool and our sweet survivor contest we have going with Run Your Pool. That's right. It's the home of competition, bringing sports fans together. Any uh, any type of pool you're running for the football season. You got to do it with Run Your Pool. I've used it for years. Kramer's run a number of pools on Run Your Pool. Very easy to set up, uh, fully customizable, which is, it's just awesome. And you got to enter our free NFL Survivor Contest. Again, you know how Survivor Contest works. You pick one team to win, not against the spread, just to win outright. You can't use that team again. Uh, and yeah, winner gets $500 cash and a $250 SGPN gift card. Winner take all. Sign up today at play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. That's play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. Get in that uh, survivor contest. Before it fills, get in there and uh, then start running your own pool with Run Your Pool. Play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. All right, Kramer. Now you can talk about the game. Uh, all right. Thursday night we'll be in Vegas. Kind of ruined it. Uh, Rams are hosting the Bills. Banner drop night. Does the water cure the hangovers out here in Los Angeles? Because <laughs> I, I do. It, boy, Josh Allen, they're going to be motivated. All right, game two. Falcons coming to town. Mariota, he's a West Coast. He's an island guy. Closer to the islands. Island strong. At Arizona, week three. At San Francisco on Monday Night Football, week four. It almost certainly seems like they're gonna go back to losing to the Niners, right? Niners, dude. Everyone's just making fun of Shanahan for not going for it <laughs> on fourth down. Oh my god, I'm and I'm remembering that call. That call was horrible. So everyone's I, bringing it up. So he's not gonna do that again, right? It it's tough because I, I I mean that first game is I, I'm gonna be racking my brain between now and when we tape the NFL picks episode because. I keep going back and forth. I love the bills. I love the bills in this spot, but damn it, it. It's just such a good trend teams playing at home when the banner drops that first opening night. And I guess the difference would be is Rams don't really have a home field advantage. There's going to be an insane amount of bills fans uh, at the game cards. I'm also out on Falcons. I'm kind of out on 49ers are going to be a tough spot. I'm, two and two. I'm going to embrace the hater and go two and two. Wait, what? I don't feel like I'm being a hater going to really? two. Okay. Uh, they have, they have two divisional road game in the Buffalo bills and don't eat, We didn't even bring up the Falcons <laughs> next four Dallas Cowboys Panthers, both at home again, easy start to the schedule. They do have the back-to-back road games, but Cowboys Panthers, both at home by week seven. Then we have the Niners at bucks. Mm. Kyle no. Trask debut. <laughs> All right, so they let let's I'll say they you know a projected can they split with the nine like will Trey Lance be any good? Oh God, I want to be out on both these teams. Mm, how's that tie but ties for both? Maybe? No, I, and and the Niners have a decent enough roster. Um, I think they go. I guess they go three and one here because I don't see the Panthers. Coming out to LA and getting a win. I'm not gonna pick the Cowboys. I, I think they split with the Niners, and then at Tampa Bay is a really tough spot. I'll go three and one though. They beat Tampa last year too, so there is that a little revenge angle maybe. Uh, I mean the Panthers are just a trash team, so they'll definitely take care of business there. The Cowboys probably will take care of business there, so I, I guess I'm sitting at. You said two and two. Uh, I said three and three one. Three and one. You know, I'm going to go two and two. I don't know where they mess up, but maybe the Panther, maybe Baker wakes up feeling dangerous, steals a home game. Well, to your point earlier about the I mean, this Panthers team has a chip on their shoulder. He Stafford lost them some games last year. I don't, I think we've kind of quietly brushed that no, under I'm the not, rug. I'm not quietly. 
Arizona at home at St. Louis at Kansas City, Seahawks at home. I'll give them the home divisional games here. I think, boy, that St. Lu- that New Orleans and then the Chiefs both on the road. That is a tough stretch. Um, Saints. I I kind of like the Saint uh, the Saint. Uh, since we've done the Saints preview, I feel like I've like I like the Saints more and more. Like they can yeah. be a team I adjust up a little bit. I mean that's that's it, any it's always tough to win in New Orleans, even when that's they're a, that's a, a two here. and two, and, the, and yeah, at Saints at Chiefs back to back non conference road spot uh, there in Kansas City. Maybe they get the win against the Cards. Seahawks seem like trash, but yeah, I'll go two and two. Yeah, Kansas City does have the Bengals on deck, but when you're the Super Bowl champ, no one looks past you. All right. Next four Raiders at home Thursday night football. That is not a home game. That that is one hundred percent a Raiders home game. Raiders. That, I don't care. I don't care what the Rams fans think they are. That will be a Raiders home game Ooh, at Green this Bay. Is, this is brutal on Monday Stretch. night football. Broncos at home. Well, Russ coming to town. It's not like Hollywood Russ. He's not gonna lose in in Los well, Angeles. The bright lights. Well, he didn't. Didn't the Rams do a good job of beating? Let's Russ? ride. And then we have at the Chargers. So okay. I guess kind of a road game. Uh, <laughs> Technically LA, home game. Yeah. Yeah. L. A. Playing. Uh, L. A.'s got a, a fake road game. Though. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Chargers at home or on the road. Um, boy. So I I would say this is actually one and three. Yeah. Let's do it. One and three. This is a really, really tough spot. We're we're really throwing shade here. <laughs> Ten we and need a half, some hot takes. Ten and a half is the win total. Last game of the season at Seattle. Yeah, it gets that's a win. They probably need it. Might need it. Slip slip into the uh I'm tempted to make I just want to check the Seattle uh episode to see what we did. Oh uh, shit! We had Seattle win somehow. How's that possible? Oh, they don't need it, maybe. Because we thought the Rams wouldn't need it. Little did right. we know. I'll grade it a loss. Give it, give them a loss there, Ryan. Uh, yeah, I guess. Th- and I'll go two and two that last quadrant. The more I think about it, one and three is too extreme. Give me two and two, but All then right. they lose to the uh, Seattle on the road for some reason. Uh, so you have the surprise eight and nine. Eight and nine. Under ten and a half, the win total ten and a half. Uh, is that? Let me just check the updated it, it juice is. on that. It's good. Okay, minus one hundred five each way. Shout out to WinBet for minus one hundred five. Oh yeah, podcast dot com slash WinBet. So, I mean, lock of all locks here. So you're eight of nine. You're eight and nine under. Yep. Okay, so right now I have them. You wouldn't. This is gonna fuck you up. I have them going seven and ten. Oh my God. And that still is good for second in the division. <laughs> oh my God, Ryan! Should I keep? Do I need to bump them up a win? No, wait. Read off your division standings, and this will be really fun uh, when we uh, do the division. I, th- I think, yeah, because we're gonna maybe make some. Ad- Arizona wins it at nine and eight, seven and ten for the Rams, <laughs> six and eleven for the Niners, five and twelve for the Seahawks. <laughs> maybe the Seahawks uh, need to go lower. All right, that is a uh, wild uh, division preview. I mean, I think if anything, I'm going to make the Cardinals better. I, okay. I think that's where I'm going to go. All right, so uh, we obviously both seem to like the case where maybe they are hungover and they they catch a couple injuries. Yeah, maybe it's Stafford's elbow. Although we do like the Wolf of uh, Wall Street, uh, the Wolfer. <laughs> John, is it Wal- Wafford? Wafford, the Wolf of Wafford. You know, Ryan, uh, the alt line. Okay. Alt line or miss playoffs. We'll see what the better right. value is. Alt line for under nine and a half is plus one eighty five. Mm. What's the miss playoffs? Plus two sixty. Ooh, I like that better. I like that better. Playing yeah. That. All right. Miss playoffs plus two sixty. <sighs> wow. I mean, are are we? Is this this is, feels? Are, are is this too reckless? No, I. Them, you know, their win total is ten and a half. I'm predicting them going eight and nine. That's what two and a half off their win total. That's not insane for them to have a letdown year. Is after it insane? This season. Is it insane to bet both the Seahawks or both the Rams and the Niners to miss the playoffs? 
I feel uh, like that, I didn't. I didn't bet the. I, I don't think I we, had 49ers. Oh, I got it. I got it written down right here. I did. Yes. All right. Um. Yeah. No. Actually, reckless? I don't. I don't think that is parlay it. Right. Find a par. I think one team comes out of this division. That's the hot take. All right. So what else? How else can we play the Rams? I mean, I am pretty out on the NFC West as well. I mean, I I have yeah. the Cardinals probably winning it right now, right? What did what did I have the Cardinals going? Right. Shit, that would be pretty funny. Ten and seven. Yeah, I think yeah. it could get ugly and they could win it. Oh, so. you have the Niners finishing second with yep. Trey Lance above five hundred. Yeah. All right. So, ooh, ooh, this is. Uh, Oh, there's no, no Rams that I, I would love to bet Rams to not have a winning record. That would be mm. Well, I mean, essentially you could probably bet the under eight and a half adjusted. Do, do we want to, or is there any value in any of the, so we don't really like them. So we're not taking any of the long shot. Like, a, is there an award we like? Um, do we like Allen Robinson to, to have a year? Maybe we like his props. I, I don't know. Where. I don't think I have many shares of him in best ball draft. I just, I don't know. The situation's not super appealing. Um, maybe you end up being way wrong, but I, I, I don't know. He's got, he's always been injured. We'll see. Uh, maybe they just ball out, but I, I don't really see it. Most interceptions um, thrown okay. Matt Stafford coming off. He tied with Trevor Lawrence. So I, I don't know. Most books would, they would split the pot there. I, I, some dead heat rule there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what, what do you do, think is what, uh, what do you think his price is? I have it in front of me. Uh, all right. So who who he, he led last year, or he was how many people? He was second. Yeah, Ryan, this is a good tease. All right, so we'll come back. We'll come give, back. Give me the price of the leader. All right, the leader is Zach Wilson at plus eight hundred, which is a horrible bet for a number of reasons. Uh, Ryan, we'll get to it when we come back, Got but. It. Perfect, uh, perfect time to talk about trade coffee. Step one, get yourself a nice sports gambling podcast coffee mug from the store. Step two, sign up for trade coffee. Step three, dominate the world. Again, you got to start your day with a nice, strong cup of delicious coffee. I do it every day with trade coffee trades delivered over 5 million bags of fresh coffee, more than 750,000 positive reviews. Uh, They have over 450 roasts. And they they the the they select a coffee specifically for your taste. You take a little coffee quiz. Hey, I like this. I don't like that. I like, strong, light, whatever it is. They'll they'll come up with a custom blend exactly for you, or or a blend that really matches your taste. And all the all the bla- all the uh, blends they've sent have been just honestly delicious. And Trade is offering new subscribers a total of thirty dollars off. Your first order plus free shipping. Just go to drinktrade.com slash SGP. That's more than 40 cups of coffee for free. Get started by taking their quiz at drinktrade.com slash SGP and let trade find you a coffee that you'll love. That's drinktrade.com slash SGP for $30 off. We're also brought to you by Dave. Hey, we've all been uh, short, uh, short a little cash, you know? Oh man, rent's coming up. You're what? A couple hundred bucks short. What are you going to do? You're going to ask your girlfriend, ask your buddy. It's, it's, you know, it's tough sometimes asking people to borrow money or maybe you're maxed out with your line of credit. Uh, you're not getting the shifts you were for work, whatever it is. Uh, let Dave help. Dave is a banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash or money to fill your tank or just, you know, take care of those expenses that have been stressing you out. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. Download the Dave app from the App Store right now. That's D A V E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to five hundred dollars instantly. For terms and conditions, go to Dave.com/legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve. Member F D I C. Kramer, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Uh, what is your guess for Matt Stafford to lead the league in interceptions? Eight fifty for Zach. He's eight hundred for Zach. Yeah, I mean Stafford's probably not. Stafford's probably not where he should be, because people just watched him play in the Super Bowl. So I'll say he's like eighteen to one. Fourteen to one. Okay. 
Jameis Winston, really? thirteen to one. That's just kind of crazy. He got LASIKs, bro. Yeah, he's, he really. It, he's since, cured. Since he's got the LASIKs, he's been dialed in. There's some bad bets on here. Sam Darnold, twenty to one. You you people forget when they're betting you, these yeah, you that you have to play the entire year. Who has the who has the leash to get there? Yeah, the Stafford does. Stafford certainly does. Does he have the elbow? Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like, can he play all seventeen games? Because you kind of need uh, seventeen to get there. Trevor Lawrence, uh, Justin Fields, Davis Mills, uh, Winston Stafford. Those are the order. Uh, then Baker's right there. Again, he's on a pretty short leash. Tannehill, uh, Malik Willis nipping at his heels. Mac Jones. Uh, they're not going to let him turn the ball over that much. Tua is an interesting one at eighteen to one. Uh, I don't think they're going to let him be that aggressive. Darnold, Lamar, Herbert, Joe Burrow, Jared Goff, Derek Carr. Hold on, Jared Goff. What's he? Twenty to one. They they just like basically oh, after it just, it just stops at twenty. Yeah, to one. after Tannehill, it's just all twenty to one. Okay. And then you start looking at Tom Brady, thirty to one. Uh, Mitch Trubisky, thirty to one. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes, thirty to one. Marcus Mariota, thirty to one. How long is his? Why, why are these odds not getting longer? I need longer odds. Matt Ryan, forty to one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Matt Ryan, forty to one, or Kirk Cousins, forty to one, are kind of interesting. Oh, because well, they could I, be in like a really just not just not fit the situation. Deshaun Watson, sixty to one. No, this is why do why are they still these sports books are criminals? Why are they still offering these Deshaun really Watson are. prices? I, I have a bet that we can we can stick it to the criminals, aka okay. the sports books. The Rams, their division win we've been doing this for, for weeks. The division win totals have been usually somewhere between two and a half and three and a half. Yep. The Rams is four. You got to pay a little juice, minus one thirty-five on the under. But I'm going under. I'm absolutely going under four victories. They're gonna lose one of the Niners. Yep. They're gonna. I like Kyler this year, but I just need Kyler to win one. That's all I need. I'm taking it. I love that bet. I love this. So bet wait, it's, I, you said it's three and a half. Four. It's at a hard four. Four. I okay. I I only All right. so you get two and you get a push? I only lose if they go five and one or six and oh. Oh yeah. What's the price on that? Minus one thirty five. Okay, yeah. Under you want to buy a piece of that? Under any, four division wins minus any other uh prop bet? I it just I was really struggling to find ways to play this one, honestly. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't even know if I like Stafford at fourteen to one. I mean, I do think no. there's a chance he gets there, but uh, I, the I odds I'm, feel I'm short on him because I think he's going to miss a couple games. I mean, he, you know, I think they come out with that he was getting shots before the games. Like this is what happens when you hit your late thirties. He played all seventeen games and uh, what? How many uh, playoff games? It was. It was three, right? Or no, four. He, I mean, he's Why got like, what? What is it like? Uh, where they take out? Uh, they got to take out the pitcher, even though he's in the no hitter because he's <laughs> yeah. just managing that arm. Look, I think it's both concerning that they're managing his arm, but also no four playoff games. He yeah. played twenty one games. Matt Stafford. That's why he has this elbow tendonitis. But also, they he, haven't even talked about his back issue. They w- yeah, that's more concerning. I think, he's, I think the reason they're going to get to eight and nine is even if he's in there, he's going to miss a couple games. Like he's just he takes hits, he holds onto the ball and tries to get big plays. Hey, the, they know how to win. They'll just get to the postseason and do it again, right? Isn't that I, so? Anyway, long story short, can't I don't really. There weren't too many things that popped off to me as like I need to go and grab this. Uh, research flat earth. What about first coach fire resign? McVay. You think he's just going to walk away? He's such a pretty boy. I just, I don't know. I don't see it. I like the conspiracy angle though. And you know, research flat earth. You would expect something to come. I like his, I like his, I like the way he sees things, Ryan, but um, I, I can't sign off on it. It's just tough, right? No, negative. I, th- it's not. It, he's. It's just not going to happen. He's. He likes his ego too much. Yeah, 
I mean, I would, I think he's, I think there's a real chance this is his last season coaching, but I don't think you really need to find that person that's going to get fired or resign during the season. Cause inevitably one coach isn't going to make it to the end. He, he, I just can't build the case for uh, Sean McVay unless something crazy happens. And it would be if, you know, I, he could walk away for the booth. I totally agree, but I think he would do it on his own terms after the season. It would just look like such a nightmare if yeah. he resigned halfway through the season and then started to try calling games. Like I, as much as I love a good long shot, I, I can't build the case for him. To me, I I think I just like what we have. Uh, under four division wins, yeah, under nine that, and a, a half, uh, under ten and a half over at Win Bet, and miss playoffs plus two sixty. Daniel's uh, saying we're haters. Maybe we are, Daniel. But you know, you're picking every team. You got to find some teams you're negative against. I'm positive on a lot of other teams. All right, unlike yeah, unlike the guy across from me. I'll give out something if you're a Rams fan. What? Let's say Cup and Stafford do run it back. Okay. I found some parlay market. Cup most receiving yards, Stafford most passing yards. You put them together, hundred and fifty to one. Sean, what do you think? You're a pro Rams guy. Stafford most passing yards, Cup most receiving yards, hundred fifty to one. I I mean, it's correlated. Yeah, I I don't see that happening. But a hundred fifty to one, it feels yeah, almost a like a mistake. On, right? We'll check. Let's check on this one tomorrow. I'm gonna. Okay. Because it feels like that might be a, a miss. It cut. What are the chances cup has the most? Well, think about it. Cup having the most receiving yards. I get it. Stafford might not, but that's pretty correlated. Well, and again, if you think Cooper cup is going to have another insane career year, exactly like you had last year, this usually happens when people Wow, just being dismissive. <laughs> no, no, you. no. I mean, I'm pointing out he beat Devonte Adams yeah. by almost 400 yards. He had 1947. <laughs> Devonte Adams had 1553. It's almost impressive that Matt Stafford didn't lead the uh didn't lead How, the league in um in passing well, yards last year Herbert because existed. C- considering uh considering he threw for almost 2000 to one guy. Like it's almost impressive well, he did. It just shows get, you he mostly threw it to one guy. Yeah. No, but uh, where did Stafford came in third place? He was solid. What, like that almost five hundred behind I, uh, uh, Brady? Probably. Brady should. was the one you mentioned. Herbert, but Brady won it fifty three sixteen. Herbert had five thousand fourteen. Stafford had forty eight eighty six. So that actually is a lot closer than I would have imagined why, for one hundred fifty to one. Why is that one hundred fifty to one then? All right, Ryan. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in. All right, write that down. Stafford. And cup. I mean, it's kind of like the bizarro opposite case, right? No, yeah. This is a little uh, head. Cup and Stafford I'm, lead the lead. In case I look like a complete fucking asshole, and and Stafford and Cup go off again in the same fashion they did, and you know Tom Brady is searching for uh, sugar or whatever he's doing, and Herbert gets banged up, and they they run the same <laughs> offense back. Like Cup and Stafford lead the league in yards. And Ryan, we got to double check where you're getting this number from because this seems. <laughs> Smoking my weed seems like a little uh, insane. Well, we shouldn't stop the show. No, okay, not stopping the show. No, I'm I'm looking at it. It's definitely it's definitely correct, 100. percent All right, well then throw it on there for me. So Rams under ten and a half. Rams miss playoffs under four division wins minus one thirty five. And just in case, give me Stafford and Cooper Cup. To lead the league in passing and receiving yards, Ryan threw it out there. I'm signing on 150 to one. I like that insurance. <laughs> insurance. Uh yeah, little insurance policy. I'm not usually an insurance guy. Never take insurance when playing blackjack. The horrible, uh, horrible yeah, scam. Losers. Uh, anything else, Ryan? Hey, check out all the uh, other 31 NFL team previews. We've been grinding them out. Appreciate uh, all the nice feedback. Subscribe, rate, and review. And uh, while you're writing up a little review, like, hey, thanks, guys, for grinding out 32 NFL team previews, screenshot your review on Apple Podcasts, open up the app, uh, and uh, click contest and uh, submit the uh, submit the screenshot there. Giving away a $50 gift card every Monday, AKA Merch Monday. You can also uh, sign up for our, uh, our uh, NFL Survivor Contest, $500, and a $250 gift card there as well. 
Ryan, anything else? Trevor in the chat says uh, Donald over eleven and Donald. a half. What did I say? Donald. I think he meant Donald. Oh, okay, Donald. you're right. I, he said Donald, <laughs> but I, he's he is talking about Aaron Donald. Donald so, over correct. eleven and a half sacks. He's done it the past four seasons. That feels a little bit like the DJ Moore Travis Kelsey angle. What could go I've wrong? Had, uh, yeah, what can go go wrong? It, that feels pretty good though. He died. Are we worried he's going to let down a little bit? He finally got his full release. Well, again, that's that's kind of what I'm seeing for the entire team, but. Yeah, I just not not like a horrific year, just a slight downgrade from what they previously were. Yeah, and just just to update you, Sean, I found some hilariously fun markets like over under longest regular season touchdown in the league, ninety five and a half yards. <laughs> Wait, what? Say that. Yeah, again? we might have a fun episode for next week. Longest longest regular season touchdown from scrimmage in the National Football League, over under ninety five and a half yards. Will there be a 96 yard or greater play from scrimmage? Yeah. Isn't it? There's a couple of year, right? I, it's, you can bet it. All right. Hell yeah. I'm I'm on it. Let's go. Hell Thank you for participating hey. in the sports gambling podcast. Football's back, Sean. Football's back, baby. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green and he is Ryan. Uh, just ram it. Kramer. Let it ride.